Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet, and I try in this tutorial. I want to show you how I easily retouch full body images or full portraits within Photoshop. I've been doing so many tutorials about doing the close ups or headshots, and I felt like most of you had understood how to retouch those, but most of you still had a challenge of how to retouch full images. And this is going to be a very quick and very simple tutorial to follow. So, if at all this is what you have always looked for, Make a point that you hit the, the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. So without further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using my retouching essentials pack and I'm going to be using my actions to speed up and fasten the retouching process. And those interested in full tutorials or in-depth tutorials that explain frequency passion, I'm going to link for you the video up here so that you can understand frequency passion from the very start to the very end. So I'm just going to come to my actions and those interested in buying my retouching essentials pack actions simply check the links in the description of this video so that you can support the channel for the content that i keep on dropping on you guys and it's going to help me or it is going to also motivate me to keep on creating content for you guys on this channel so i'm just going to come to the actions and i'm going to come and simply select my 16-bit action because this is a 16-bit kind of image I'm just going to hit the play button. So right now, this is when I have to determine the amount of blur I need to blur out of the textures in this kind of image. So for this case, I'm going to be using a radius of 6. So you have to blur out the details up to the point when you feel like it is okay. So at around 6, that is when I'm starting to lose out on the details. So you have to move the radius up to the point when you're just starting to lose out on the details in the image. I'm just going to simply hit OK and the action is going to run over the image. So the advantage of using actions is because they help speed up the process of creating those layers and it's more of a shortcut to creating those layers within Photoshop. So when you play the action, it is going to automatically create for you a black and white layer. The reason for this is because you can use the black and white layer as a help layer that is going to help you see the uneven skin tone transitions within the image so you can see it is more of a whole player to show you why you can blend or even all the transitions within the skin tone in the image so basically what i'm going to i'm just going to come and select the low frequency layer, but the action is going to automatically select this for you so i'm just going to come to the brushes and right click and get the mixer brush tool and make sure the hardness or the settings are as follows so the hardness has to be at zero Make sure it is a clean brush right here. And I, I prefer the second option, which is clean the brush after each and every stroke. The weight is going to be 9%, the load of 75, the mix at 90, and the flow of 100%, and sample orders is not checked. So, with this, I'm just going to start blending. So, in order to see where to blend the transitions within the skin using the mixer brush tool, you can either use the black and white layer as a whole player by turning it on, and you can now paint and even out the skin tone transitions or if at all you don't want this and it is a little bit confusing you can come and simply delete the black and white layer and come back and select the low frequency layer and come and hide the texture layer and only work with the colors as you're looking at the colors within the image so usually when i'm retouching full body images what i tend to do i tend to zoom in slightly and i retouch them at a distance the reason for this is because I want to cover a wide or remember oftentimes you have a number of photos or so many photos to retouch so retouching at a distance is going to help you really retouch faster and quicker so that is more of a tip so if at all you're using the mixer brush tool and you want to play around with different sizes of the mixer brush tool as you're trying to retouch different areas of the image you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to decrease or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool and if at all the mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon or this plus symbol right here you can simply press the capsule lock key so how to do this you can now start painting colors that look alike within the image and you are going to really be evening them out and transitioning them in the image so paint colors that are looking alike in order to harmonize and have a better transition like i said i am retouching at a distance and i've not zoomed all the way into the image and this helps me to do or to do my retouching 
a little bit quicker and faster within Photoshop. So for these kinds of images, really, I just do less of the retouching. So I'm just going to come to this other side and also do this. And you can see so when you retouch at a distance, it really helps you to really save so much time that you may have wasted or that you could have wasted trying to retouch and perfect the image. So you can see what we've just done. Just going to turn this on briefly as a before and after just a few strokes of the mixer brush tool have gotten the job done so just turn this off and come back and blend transitions so basically we are mixing colors so that we can harmonize the transitions within the midtones the highlights and the shadows within the image and you can see i'm done with the lower parts of the image and it is really really a uh, more effective way i'm just going to come and blend right on the cheekbone and come to the face area and mix those colors right there and blend them you basically have to mix colors that are looking alike within uh, your image and you can see this is really going to be a better way and quicker way to retouch remember i've used my actions to speed up the retouching of this very image and those interested the link is going to be in the description of this video so make sure to check out this and get my retouching essentials pack at a very good and affordable price and that is going to help the channel grow and motivate me to keep on creating content for you guys that is or that will benefit you as a photographer so you can see by just using the mr brush tool we have created a smooth skin for this very model in this case so when you're done doing this you can come back and turn on the texture layer and you just look at the progress of your image so by turning this group on and off you can see that we have really smoothen out the skin and it is really perfect so let's get the blemishes out of the skin so come and select the texture layer and simply get the clone stamp tool and what i prefer to use the settings i prefer hardness of around 30 or 40 then the mode is normal past that 100 percent and the flow is 100 percent and sample has to be on current layer because you only want to deal with the information or the blemishes that belong to the texture or high frequency layer so right now you have to zoom in because you want to see the blemishes better in the image and you can reduce on the size of the clone sample tool by using the open and close bracket still on the keyboard so basically how to use this clone sample tool you hold down the alternate or option key on the keyboard and left click close to the blemish that you want to eliminate so you basically hold down option or alternate and left click on an area that is clean close to the blemish and simply release the option or alternate button and left click over the blemish to get rid of it so make sure the size of your clone sample tool always is slightly bigger than uh, the blemish that you want to eliminate uh, in your image so basically that is how to use the clone sample tool to clean up or remove blemishes from your images so make sure you do this because i prefer to do this after retouching because while you're using the mr brush tool it tends to smooth out or remove the blemishes or majority of the blemishes that you may have taken so much much time trying to eliminate or remove from your images uh, after retouching so always make sure that you uh, use the mr brush tool first and you can see we have removed majority of the blemishes from the lower parts of the body so we're now going to come and eliminate or clean up the face of the model and you can see how fast and quick this is going to be and you don't have to do so so much trying to uh, retouch these full body images because no one is going to zoom in all the way to look for those imperfections unless they are maybe insane i should say so right now we are now done retouching the image and you can see a quick before and after before after we are now done doing the skin retouching so let's do a little bit of the color grading on this image so what basically what i tend to do I create a stamp with by pressing shift alternate control e on the keyboard or you can use shift option command e for mac then come to filter and come to the camera roll filter so basically what i do when it comes to using the camera roll filter i simply come and add contrast and 
have a rich skin tone so in order to do that i simply come to my color mixer option within the camera raw filter and come to the luminous and simply slightly darken the oranges and that helps me get a richer skin tone then i come up to the contrast then i simply boost as the contrast so basically this is what i do in the camera filter then I, I go back into photoshop to do the final and last adjustments to the image so i simply come to my selective color and what i do i tend to come to my yellows because i want the top to be a little bit white or whiter so i'm just going to take out the yellows from the top just like that but for this case what i did when i was color grading i simply added a tiny bit of science to the top of the model then i come to my blacks and simply intensified or i intensified the black so that the model should pop out of the background and she could stand out even more then i did a little bit of eye whitening so basically what i do when i'm whitening eyes i come to my hue and saturation adjustment layer and simply take out the saturation from the overall image so i make sure i master is selected after around negative 88 and i close this then invert this layer mask by pressing ctrl command i on the keyboard then i come and get the normal brush tool and make sure i have black and white right here and for the settings i prefer the hardness is at zero opacity and the flat 100 percent then so make sure you have black and white and make sure white is the foreground color or white is on top so by doing this you are now going to whiten the eyes and you can use the same method to whiten teeth in photoshop so with, with the brush you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to decrease or increase on the size of your brush and you can see that this does a more natural way to whiten eyes in photoshop so basically this is what i did or this is what i do when i'm trying to retouch full body portraits within photoshop so you can see before after before after and after you can export or save the image by simply coming to file export and come to export as so after doing this you are going to get the export as window and in order to use this window effectively these are settings that you want to put in so that your image doesn't change in color after saving it so make sure the format is jpeg and the quality is 100 percent make sure the sample is by cubic sharper because you want the image to slightly be sharpened for screen by photoshop then make sure in the color space you embed color profile and also convert to srgb make sure the two options are checked and you can simply click on export in order to save the image with no color change issues or to save a sharp image with no color change issues after posting it on social media so this is it for today's tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing trails and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating